Well, I've been sitting here for a half an hour, 45 minutes. And uh, a few minutes ago, I had 43 horses around me. And then Cloud, he decided he needed to move his band. But you know what I was sitting here thinking about was that, you know, I'm sitting here looking at 43 horses and pretty good chance the bigger share might be gathered up and hauled off. And that, it's a big bother to me because, you know, the horses to me are very, very important. It's part of my culture, my life. One of the things that's sad here right now is we got colts that are only days old, not weeks, not months, days. Little fellow was along here this morning. Yesterday we seen him and he was pretty wobbly legged. He's getting around very good this morning, but yesterday he was very wobbly legged. This little guy is gonna get in there and I'm fighting stallions. They're gonna start kicking. Mares are going to be hurt. Colts are probably going to get hurt or killed. You know, it's what the, what the BLM is doing. Everything that they tell me is against the law. The BLM is going to be doing themselves for the next 10 days. BLM, they have signs all over the, along, every place you come through a gate to come into the porch pasture tells you, don't run the horses, don't harass the horses, don't bother the horses in any way. Why are they above this law? And, you know, and they're just going to chase these horses and harass these horses until they get them in a pen. Oh, it's going to be a, a broken leg or two. It's going to be a horse got pushed over into a little ravine off of, off of a little 10 or 12 foot cut bank. Um, the stallions are going to be put too close together and when you get these stallions together you've got the bloodiest, screamingest, kickingest fight that you've ever seen in your whole life. And this is what the BLM is going to be doing to these horses. These horses here, you know, they're, they're the descendants of the Spanish horses that the conquistadors brought here. The BLM has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to prove this beyond a, beyond a doubt, but they but they can't even believe what they what they spent a hundred thousand dollars to prove. It's going to take a couple of hundred head of horses to hold the bloodlines, the gene pools. The gene pools are so important here. And the less horses we have, the, the smaller the gene pool gets. We have to keep the larger amount of horses to hold our gene pool so that we can keep having these strong, beautiful horses that we have here in this pasture. I think that what's going to happen here, we're going to see horses that are going to become totally extinct one day. They're going to be kind of like the buffalo. White man came along, and what did he see? He seen millions of buffalo here. Well, the first thing they do, they they had to load up their guns and they had to start shooting buffalo until there was absolutely none. Well, I I, I really honestly feel that this is uh, the goal of the BLM to eventually load up every horse that's on this pasture and haul it off. And like I say, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is a sad day because a good share of these horses that are right here, I've seen them for the last time that I'll probably ever see them. <laughs>